Arcta, whose name means anus inside, is a phylum of mostly sessile aquatic animals. They have bilateral symmetry and more than two cell layers, tissues, and organs. They have a pseudocolumate body cavity with a U-shaped gut, and their body cavity functions as a hydrostatic skeleton. They have no circulatory system or gaseous exchange organs, and their nervous system is a central ganglion. In addition, they contain no excretory system. Endoprox reproduce sexually. Endoprocta live in coastal marine environments throughout the world. There are 180 known species, widely distributed and almost exclusively marine. They are found living on rocks, shells, algae, and underwater structures, preferring more solid substrates to softer sediments. Solitary species are found living on other animals, such as sponges, sessile annelids, and ectoprocs, taking advantage of the feeding currents produced by these animals. They are found from intertidal areas to depths of up to 500 meters. There are two freshwater species that are found only in fully freshwater environments. The phylum Entoprocta exhibits a variety of reproductive modes and behaviors. From both the colonial and solitary species, each organism is capable of asexual colonial reproduction or budding. In colonial species, new zooids are formed from the stalk or stolons. On the other hand, solitary species produce buds from the base of the calyx. Sexual reproduction can also occur and individuals may be docious, simultaneous, or protandrous hermaphrodites. Mating seasons depend on location. Experimental evidence supports increased water temperature as a trigger for sexual maturity. Endoprox from warmer waters may be reproduced all year round, while many species in colder waters show a breeding peak in late summer and early fall. Entoprocta are suspension feeders. They extract food particles, mainly phytoplankton, from currents produced by lateral cilia on their tentacles. Entoprocs generally use their cilia to create a feeding current and another to trap food particles. This is typically called downstream collecting, in which food particles are trapped as they are about to exit past them. The phylum is sessile or immobile. Their tentacles covered with cilia can move water, but they remain in the same place. Entoprox are protostomes, meaning that they have a spiral cleavage, the fate for the blastopore is a mouth, and there is an anus. Entoprox stick to the bottom of boats like barnacle. This is bothersome to humans because it erodes the paint, adds weight, and wastes fuel while moving across waters. There has been a solution to make a paint that repels them from sticking to the bottom. An interesting fact is that it is rare to find fossils of Entoprocta. Due to the fact that entoprox are undoubtedly protosomes, they display a number of characteristics only found in spiralians, which is a morphologically diverse clad consisting of mollusks, annelids, platyhelminths, and other phyla. Although similar, entoprox are not closely enough related to be considered part of the spiralian group. The Entoprocta phylum contains about 180 recognized species, grouped into four families, Berencidae, Pelicenidae, Loxicalipodae, and Loxysomatidae. Because Entoprox are small in size and possess a delicate body structure, fossils have been extremely rare. However, Entoprocta fossils can be dated back to approximately 520 million years ago, during the Cambrian period. Referencing the phylogenetic tree, the closest relative to Entoprox are the phylum Annelida. In the character matrix, the Echinodermata and Anthropoda are grouped together because they share similar traits like tissue, digestion, circulatory system, locomotion, appendages, and food. But both trees group Bryozoa and Annelida together, which makes sense because they have similar worm-like characteristics. Porifria is the outlier for both trees because sponges are the simplest organism represented on the tree. When Entoprox were first discovered, they were regarded as a class within the phylum Bryozoa because both groups were sessile animals that filter fed with a crown of tentacles. However, since 1869, increasing awareness of differences, including the position of the entoproct anus inside the feeding structure and the difference in the early developmental stage of cells in their embryos, allowed scientists to consider the two groups as separate phyla. Bryozoa then became just an alternative name for entoprox, in which the anus is outside the feeding organs. In the article written by Nielsen, the phylogeny mentioned entoprocta being linked with ectoprocta, and they are closely related to echinodermata and more distantly related to mollusca and annelida, which are grouped together. Uh -huh.